What's going on everyone, Dr. Drake here, and welcome to episode 18 of your weekly Wednesday Wine Review, where we spread knowledge one sip at a time. As always, if you enjoy these reviews, to so please give them a like, hit that subscribe button and notification bell, so you never miss out on these awesome, informative wine reviews. This week, we are featuring a Shiraz from Australia, from a collaboration between legendary French wine grower Michael Chaputier and wine industry icon Anthony Terlato. This is their L block from their Melikoff estate, located in the Pyrenees, which is considered a local government area in Victoria, Australia. The reason why this place is called the Pyrenees because the explorer and surveyor Thomas Mitchell was the first European recorded to have traveled through the district on his 1836 journey of exploration. The ranges reminded him of the Pyrenees Mountains in Europe where he had served as an army officer, hence why he established this name for the area. Syrah is a rich, powerful, and sometimes even meaty red wine that originated in the Rhone Valley of France. Throughout the world, it's known as Syrah, but in Australia and even South Africa, they call it Shiraz. Where this name comes from is the city of Shiraz in present-day Iran. The city of Shiraz has established a reputation for producing the finest wine in the world and was Iran's capital during the 9th century. More modern day Iran, Shiraz wine cannot be produced legally due to the prohibition of alcohol in Islam. Right before the Islamic revolution in 1979, there were up to 300 wineries in Iran. Now there are none. Iran is no longer a wine producing country. But Iranian Christians are legally allowed to ferment wine. Let's dive deeper into this bottle. The hue of the wine is a dark, deep red, pushing black with a garnet red rim. The nose brings huge black fruits like blackberry with a floral component such as violets, hints of coffee undertones, and damp earth. The palette is textbook Australian Shiraz with tons of fruit up front like blackberry and plum with velvety tannins and black pepper interlaced throughout the fruit and tannins, all balanced together, making this wine very enjoyable. I only have a few more bottles left, so act fast on this one, as it was an extremely small buy. This wine is showing on their website that they have it for $80, which comes down to a various number of factors, but I have to be honest as I don't think it drinks like an $80 bottle of wine. Though I think the wine does drink well past the $18 price tag we offer in the store. Pairing this with a leg of lamb roast with gravy prepared by one of my best buds made it that much better. Remember to give this video a like, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay tuned for next week's prescription from the doctor.